Hey everybody, it is Quicken, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another kind of grocery grabs haul. I love doing these grocery grab videos because, I mean, I feel like I love to celebrate and kind of indulge in the little diet that I live in. This is a vegan video. Um, but I also like to share the stuff I like to get with you guys. I mean, it is kind of a little personal thing. There's definitely going to be things in this haul that I need to excuse. But this is going to be an Aldi grocery grabs. So if you don't know, and I think a lot of you guys do because Aldi is like a global company, but Aldi is kind of a discount kind of grocery store. And it's a little unique, you know, if you take anything from this video, you've never been to Aldi before, definitely go with a friend. Um, because Aldi is a very unique kind of grocery store. Maybe you've passed one before, or maybe it's your favorite grocery store ever. But Aldi is kind of a discount brand where you go there. Um, they don't have like shopping carts. You kind of have to like bring your own bag, stuff like that. And the way you enter the Aldi, you like walk in and it leads you out, if that makes sense. Go there, check it out. So today, all of the things I bought are going to be under $30, this entire grocery store haul. When I first moved to the city, Aldi was the only place I went and now, you know, getting back into it, they have a lot of vegan things and it's really cool. There's a ton of overlap between Aldi and Trader Joe's. If you've ever been to Trader Joe's, you might recognize a lot of these things. Um, I'm pretty sure they share a warehouse, so some of these things are Trader Joe kind of things. And um, before we get started, I might use phrases like accidentally vegan. If you've never heard the phrase accidentally vegan before, it's kind of just like a shorthand term for something that is not branded as vegan or traditionally seen as vegan, but vegans can eat it, um, like uh, Oreos. There's arguments for and against Oreos, but that is just like a off the top of my head example of accidentally vegan. So I'm gonna jump in, all of this stuff is from Aldi, and I'm just really excited to share some of this stuff, honestly. Um, some stuff I did buy to try out, and some stuff is a staple in my life, so I'll talk about that as well. So, when you go to Aldi, you do have to bring your own grocery bag, which, I mean, I encourage all of us to use our own grocery bags anyway. You can buy Aldi grocery bags for, I believe, 10 cents each. But what's cool about Aldi is all of the boxes and stuff that they use to pack and stock, they leave out. So you could go there honestly empty handed and shop with these boxes. I often do. And it's not taboo. That's how you see everyone else shopping too. So I have my little chewy wee bag. And the first thing I have on here, so Aldi has their like organic kind of brand, which I tend to gravitate towards just because it's not a safe bet that organic equals vegan, but it's usually a safe bet that the ingredients are a little easier to understand if you are reading the ingredients. If you're new to vegan or vegetarian, um, understanding ingredients that you can and can't have is one of the biggest challenges you might face. So. Usually these more organic brands um, just use a, an easier language. So I grabbed these, some little apple sauces. I mean, not really great on my whole like trying to make less waste kind of shit, but um, I thought this would be, these would be cool for the fridge and something cool to like grab uh, to pack for lunches for work and stuff. So we'll grab those. You've seen those before. The next thing I got are some cereal, and these are both from that, like, Simply Nature brand. I don't know when I became this, like, old spinster woman, but I love these, like, natural cereals. So this is apple walnut granola cereal, and then this is the pumpkin and flax. If you're looking for one to try for the first time, I really like this pumpkin one. It's available all year. This is the one I always get. It's just got seeds and stuff in it, and I love it. 16 grams of protein, and these are all the brands. I mean, Simple Nature, they're all kind of named that in every store, but these are the Aldi ones. And this says USDA Organic on it. So the next thing I got are these bagels. Um, I really like bagels in the morning. I think when I go to a coffee shop, I often get a bagel. 
So I thought it'd be cool just to have a pack of these in my house so I'm not like spending money at the coffee shop on bagels. And then I got hummus because now my new like favorite breakfast is a hummus bagel. Um, and this is just garlic hummus and all of these things are store brand. That's kind of like all these thing. Like every once in a while they'll pepper in little things. Like you can get honey nut Cheerios there. But for the most part, everything is Aldi brand. And I know like growing up, like I don't know why I had like this <laughs> elementary school complex about like store brand versus like name brand. But I remember growing up, I was always like, mom, why do we always have generic? And now I'm older and I'm like, I love generic and it's the only thing I shop. So I got some garlic hummus. This was like a dollar. So I'm sorry, I haven't been saying like the prices on these. Um, but these are like a dollar fifty. This was like a dollar. These I think are like two dollars. There's that. So the next thing I got are these refried beans. And this is an accidentally vegan find. If you get the one that says fat free on it, um, it's not going to have pork in it. The one that does not say fat free has pork, so it's not even vegetarian. So if you just are looking through and um, you wanna have these like refried beans, I don't know how common it is to find refried beans that don't have pork fat, but at Aldi, I think these were 59 cents. Um, I love getting these and I also get like Aldi brand black beans. And I just love having these like Dakota pride. I love having these in my cabinet. I try to keep like at least two or three in there at all times because I can always whip something up with some black beans and rice. I like, I love rice and beans. These refried beans are so good. Um, and while I was setting up, I almost filmed in the living room. While I was setting up, I also got these corn tortillas, but Ethan bit the bag open. Um, he knows I have them. <laughs> so I got these corn tortillas. I really like these. They're really easy to make. And I can kind of just like make four or five of these with the black beans and rice. And it's a pretty like easy dinner, vegan, nothing to worry about here. I love these, they're really good, really easy to heat up. Honestly, it's like a, a 10 minute dinner that can serve like four or five people, honestly. Me, I just have a lot of leftovers when I'm done. Why did you eat this? Why did you eat this? Seriously, stop. Okay, I don't know what's in that, but the cat loves it. So the next thing I got, and this is another little accidentally vegan thing, are these cinnamon rolls that you pop and put in the oven. So I would say that these are not a traditionally vegan find. I'm not saying these are healthy, they are not. They're full of sugar and cardboard, but um, they are called Bakehouse Creations. I made these a few weeks ago, and I remember somebody was like, oh, is Pillsbury vegan now? And these are some like very, oh, no synthetic colors, thank you. So these are some store brand Aldi ones. Um, depending on where you are in life, this says like may contain milk, eggs, you know, like this was used, this was processed on a machine that also does this. Um, me, I let that slide because, I mean, they have to tell you that if it's for allergies and I don't have allergies, this is just a whole little thing I'm doing. So I got these, I think these were like $2. They're pretty good. Usually I get like this, um, like nature's, like whole foods kind of situation cinnamon rolls. Um, but these are also really good too and available at Aldi for vegans. Um, here is some trail mix. I really like trail mix. Put this in my purse, bring this to work. You know, uh, dried cranberries, almonds, chocolate chunks, raisins, and walnuts. I always get that at Aldi. I think this is one of the more expensive things I get. I don't know if nut is expensive, but I think this was like $3.99, but sometimes I'll see trail mix at like Marshall's. Like people are really trying to get trail mix. So I already opened this, but this is the Friendly Farms almond milk. So my Aldi 
used to have soy milk and now they have almond and coconut milk and then they also have iced coffee in a container like this too. I don't know what happened with the soy. I like it all. Um, I probably won't ever buy the coconut milk but it's insane that Aldi has those options for you. So I like baking with coconut milk so if I knew I was going to bake something soon I would probably gravitate towards that. Aldi has everything you need to bake as well as and I'm pretty sure they have some like vegan butter but I don't need any. Um, so this is the almond milk. I just happened to get vanilla for like a nostalgic kind of thing because, um, when I used to shop at Aldi, that's what I would get. I don't really get the flavored milks too often anymore, but I really wanted this. And they also have a chocolate one, which is really good. I love chocolate almond milk. It's such a delight, such a treat. I think this was $2.39. I have the receipt somewhere. Um, but... Honestly, they have your non-dairy needs absolutely covered. You don't have to get vanilla, you can get plain. They have a ton of stuff. I'm pretty sure they even have some like lactose intolerant milk for you as well, if that's your feeling. So, always love this. I love store brand milk from Aldi. So I actually bought these next two things on a recommendation. I think in my live stream I had mentioned that I was going to go to Aldi and that's where I shop now. And um, somebody said that their veggie burgers are really, really good. So I grabbed both of these. Both of these are vegan, which I was really surprised because they reminded me of like Morningstar kind of language burgers, whatever. And Morningstar has a black bean chipotle burger, which like smells and looks so good, but it has eggs in it, so I've never been able to have it. Um, so this is Season's Choice Black Bean Chipotle Burger. And it's not like marketed as being a vegan thing, um, but it does say certified vegan on the bottom. Not a ton of Aldi stuff does. I don't know if they're just like, they don't really use that language and they're not branding their stuff like that. When you go to Aldi, there's not like an organics section or like a freak section. Everything's peppered in with one another. Um, so you do have to look and be diligent and read ingredients when you're at Aldi. But every once in a while you run into something like this, which is like marketably, you know, looking at this, I'm like, oh, I know that's vegetarian. I wonder if it's vegan. So I'm really excited to try this one. Um, the black bean chipotle burger, Southwest style. And then this one is just like a generic veggie burger. This looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not usually like, like loving veggie burgers, but since it is like barbecue season, I like to have a box of this in my freezer if I get invited anywhere. Usually, and this even happened to me like last week. Someone will be like, hey, we're grilling in the park. You're invited if you bring like your own shit. So, it's funny, at my house, I don't want to eat this, but all of a sudden, if I'm at FDR Park, I'm like, mmm, I want this. So I definitely wanted to have some of these in the freezer, especially for barbecue season, and if I could get this, you know, generic and not have to go to Whole Foods or wherever to find one of these, um, I'm all about it. It looks good, you know, and one of you guys said that this is really good, and it's made with vegetables, it's not like the, um, I don't know what Boca patties that are really honestly made of but this looks really good and bought it at Aldi so the next thing I found I'm honestly so 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 excited for I've been shopping at Aldi years I have never seen this I'm so glad that I'm on this like hummus bagel kick because this was in the same um area of the store don't bite me I'm sorry about your tortillas and this is pierogies. So these might be some locally made pierogies because they do have like, they seem like maybe locally packaged, maybe not. Oh, so they say New Jersey on them. I live in Pennsylvania, so this is just one state over. This might not be everywhere. This might be local to my Aldi, but these pierogies, ow, these pierogies like right here say contain no egg. So I was looking at it and I was like, does that say contain no egg? So I grabbed these, read over the ingredients, and these are vegan. Finding vegan pierogies, you know, is kind of tough. If you live in Philadelphia, Tattooed Moms recently started serving vegan pierogies, but I haven't been able to be like, where do you get those? 
And maybe they get them from delicious fresh pierogies since 1991. So these are potato and onion pierogies. And I can't tell you when the last time I've had some pierogies that I could make at my house, like vegan. These say boil for two minutes. I can be eating these in five minutes, honestly. I'm really, really, really excited about these. Honestly, love everything I got, but this really surprised me. I cannot wait to eat this. Ethan, could you be cuter? They also had another flavor, but it had cheese. So if you are vegetarian but not eating eggs, there's also an option for you. I believe these were more than I expected to pay, but I would have paid anything for them. I think they were like $4. And honestly, I can have six of these and a friend over. I'll have leftovers. So the next thing I got are these Fig Newtons. These, well, Fig Bars. These are accidentally vegan. Normal Fig Newtons, I believe, are not vegan. The last time I checked, which was a few years ago, maybe they changed their little policy on that. But Aldi has a ton of, like, treats that are accidentally vegan. They have a bunch of, like, counterfeit fucking Girl Scout cookies. And the peanut butter ones are vegan. And I think, like, the Thin Mint ones are vegan, too. Double check though, um, I have not been in the mood for like sweets lately, so I kind of got these in case like someone happens to come over my house, I feel like a grandma, like oh, I'll, I'll, I'll put some sweets in the cabinet just in case the kids are over, <laughs> but I think my friends are coming over this weekend, so I thought, would they want these? I actually like these though, um, definitely when I lived in West Philly, I was eating these all day and night, but you know, I'm really excited, it says new and improved. So that's good, that's promising. Um, and these are like a dollar. The next thing I got is some teriyaki sauce. And I was actually pretty excited about this because I was reading the ingredients and there's not sugar. Well, no, there is sugar in it. <laughs> I guess I was scared that there was high fructose corn syrup in here and there's just like straight up sugar. I mean, teriyaki is sweet. There has to be sugar in it. But I thought this would be cool, especially like if I change gears on my rice and beans or whatever and I'm eating this, I think this would be cool. I just wanted like this in my fridge. Aldi is really good on like condiments. They have it hooked up. If you're just moving into your house or something and you need to like stock your cabinet, definitely check out Aldi. They have all of the condiments, all of the condiments you could need. Speaking of which, I got this garlic salt. Um, I like to put garlic salt in like if I make like a vegan mac and cheese, I like to do this. I don't have any of the ingredients. I don't have any like actual cheese slices, but I kind of make like a cheesy sauce that I really like, but it needs to have a little kick in it. So I got this. I should have got onion powder too, but I did not. And honestly, I think that's everything. Um. I got this like bag of tokens that's kind of locals only. Let me see, Ethan. Is the bag empty? Yes. Ow. Ow. You're so mean. All right, guys. So that is everything from my Aldi haul. Thank you guys so much for encouraging me to make these videos. I think everything at Aldi is super affordable and I just wanted to bring you guys a video where, you know, I get questions like I just moved out and I'm shopping for myself and things are expensive. And for me to be like, sometimes I go to Whole Foods, sometimes I go to Wegmans. I really wanted to bring everything together and show you like, I don't always shop name brand. Like I really do love shopping at Aldi and I have so many good feelings about it. And the last two times I've gone grocery shopping has been at Aldi too. All this food is gonna last me like at least a month. So I'm really excited to bring my like grocery bill like, I think the last time I made one of these videos, I said that my grocery bill was almost $50 a week. And now bringing it to like $30 a month has been really awesome for me. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Let me know what your favorite thing is. If you were surprised about any of these things. I mean, the cinnamon roll thing is definitely something I love. Let me know, do you have any accidentally vegan favorites? And do you shop at Aldi? Who knows? Video is not sponsored. This is just some shit I like. It takes me about a half hour total to get there and back, but honestly, it's worth it, Ethan. Thanks for eating my tortillas.
Anyway, until next time, bye. Leave them alone. Dang. I love you.